Hello, in today's tech tip, we will be discussing dynamometer mounted resilient couplings. Resilient couplings primary purpose is to dampen high amplitude torsional impulses or torque spikes associated with testing a comparatively small engine on a larger capacity dynamometer. The secondary purpose is to provide a drive shaft connection point to the dynamometer. When operating as a flexible connection or unlocked, the coupling's maximum torque value is 2,500 pound-feet. If you lock the coupling by installing the lockup bolts, the dampening capabilities of the coupling are removed and engines can now be tested up to the full capability of the dynamometer without changing coupling. If you still experience torsional vibrations with the coupling locked, PowerTest does also offer a wide variety of engine-mounted torsional resilient couplings so when testing your smaller engines, you can use the dyno-mounted coupling and then you can lock the dyno-mounted coupling and install an engine-mounted coupling onto the engine, allowing one dynamometer to test many different engine sizes. Alright, so let's take a look at the dyno-mounted resilient coupling and talk about some of the adjustments you can make. There are 12 neoprene rubber blocks separating the inner hub from the outer housing. By removing blocks in pairs, you can reduce the coupling's maximum torque value and fine-tune the coupling to match your test engine. Please follow the recommendations outlined when reducing the coupling's maximum torque value. Next, I would like to go over coupling maintenance. The following maintenance items are only necessary when using the coupling in the unlocked state. When the coupling is locked to the dyno shaft, the internal wear components are not in use, so the frequency of the following checks will depend on local usage and conditions. At the factory, couplings are lubricated with NLGI No. 2 mineral oil grease. There are four grease fittings installed on the back side of the coupling. It is good practice to re-lubricate the coupling with a couple of pumps of equivalent grease every six to seven engines of unlocked usage. The coupling's internal rubber blocks and brass wear rings should also be inspected after about three months of continued unlocked usage. To inspect, First ensure the drive shaft has been disconnected and the lockup bolts are removed from the coupling. Start the inspection by removing the outer bolts that secure the coupling's drive and end plates to the outer housing. Once the front drive plate has been removed, you can remove and inspect the rubber blocks for flat stops, cracks, or other wear. As blocks are removed, the outer housing will loosen and you can also remove that. Clean the old grease off the inner hub and brass wear rings. Ensure wear ring hardware is secure and not broken. Then place the drive and end plates back onto the inner hub, checking for excessive wear in the brass wear rings. Brass wear rings provide a renewable bearing surface for the coupling when operated as a flexible connection. If any of the wear items require replacement, PowerTest can provide a coupling rebuild kit. Please contact us for more information. Before reassembly, Clean up all the old grease and then thoroughly lubricate all surfaces of the rubber blocks as you reassemble the coupling using an equivalent grease. Well that wraps up this month's tech tip on the dyno mounted resilient coupling. As always, if you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact us or check our website for more information.